Hey everyone, Jeremy from Daily Marketing here, just doing another video today on our optimization inside of our ad sets. Um, and today we're gonna be focused on budget and schedule and bidding. So a few things to know, um, I'm just gonna run through kind of the options that we have for budget, schedule and bidding, and then we'll kind of get into some advanced strategies. And I'll point out the difference between a few different kind of campaigns um, between link click conversion and video views where there's some substantive differences in these. So first off, um, you have the option of doing a daily budget versus a lifetime budget. Um, daily budget is usually what you want to go with if it's an ongoing campaign. Lifetime budget is useful if it's no, if you know it's going to be a fixed term. You cannot switch this option once these campaigns go live, right? So be very, very careful about um, which option you start off with. Like I said, if you know it's going to be a fixed length campaign, definitely do the lifetime budget. You know, if you know that it's going to be something ongoing and if you see success, you want to keep it rolling, I would do a daily budget and just check in on it. Um, you can also do a schedule run ad set starting today versus a start and end date. Um, again, that is a thing that you cannot change once it gets going. Um, so if you want to keep things rolling, and if it's like a conversion ad for an e-commerce site or something like that, and you want to just keep it going after the fact, I would say, you know, run your ad set starting continuously today. Um, again, if it's, you know, lifetime budget, um, I would say um, go and start an end date. Um, so optimization for ad delivery. So this is a um, link click campaign, right? It's going for link clicks. I would go actually, you have some options here for the optimization for the ad delivery, landing page views, link clicks, impressions, daily unique reach. Facebook makes a distinction between link clicks, which is people that click the link, but don't necessarily actually go through and follow through and see your website. Um, those would be landing page, those can be landing page views. Um, that's if they actually load the website um, versus link clicks where people could click and hit back or, or what have you. So I would say that, you know, I, for me, I go with landing page views if I'm going to do a link click campaign um, or a traffic campaign rather. Um, bid strategy. So it used to be called automated and manual bids. Um, lowest cost has basically taken over automated and then setting a bid cap is um, your manual bid. And I'll get into strategies around that a little bit later. Um, after that, you can do... Um, you can run um, some different uh, optimizations for when you get charged. Um, sometimes, you know, if you're going to do link click there, um, you can actually change from impressions to a CPC style campaign. That can be really powerful, um, a little bit easier to plan out, and also um, just a little bit more predictable versus bidding on a CPM basis. Um, ad scheduling, if you're doing a lifetime campaign, you can then do ad scheduling. And day part it, this is super useful if you're trying to hit somebody like on the weekends or in the mornings or while they're at work during working hours, right? That sort of thing. Um, and finally, add delivery type. You can do standard versus accelerated. So before I get into advanced strategies, I'm going to pop over. I want to show you um, a couple of things. Number one, with video views, some of these are going to be a little bit different, right? Obviously, because it's video. Um, through play is new. Um, so optimization for ad delivery through play is new. Um, that is to, if you have a 15 second video, it'll try and do people that watch the entire video. If it's longer, they'll do at least 15 seconds. Then you have 10 seconds. Then you have two seconds. Um, you know, hearing things from the community that basically, um, for through play, uh, it, you know, people are having kind of mixed results. Some people love it. Some people hate it. A lot of people suggest going with the 10 second video view as kind of a, um, a middle ground. Um, and then when you get charged, you can do impressions or a 10 second video of you, right? Um, other one that I want to, that's notable is to go into conversions campaigns. Um, and you go down to budget uh, and schedule and you'll see you can optimize for conversions, landing page views, and then other options like link clicks, impressions, or daily unique reach. Um, this bid strategy is a little bit different. So you can do lowest cost with a bid cap or you can do target cost, right? And so target cost would be based on what conversion you choose, how much you're willing to pay for that. And so personally, um, I usually do lowest cost and don't do a bid cap. Um, I find that sometimes my ads won't serve um, if I'm if I'm doing a you know a manual bid. Um, that said, some people uh, swear by manual bids, 
right? And so you do the target cost um, and then just kind of work your way backwards. So let's say you had a $200 product, you want at least 2X return on your ads. So that's about one, and let's say you have like, you know, a 33% checkout rate, that's a pretty average checkout rate from add to cart to, um, you know, purchase on a website. Let's say we're can, um, optimizing for add to cart. So I would say, you know, $33, right, for this. Now, the, the, the danger when it comes to this is not that it'll like drastically overshoot your bid, but that it will not serve if Facebook will give up a lot of times and stop serving your ad if it can't make it work. Um, unfortunate reality of the situation, but you should know that. Um, so worth a test. Um, but you know, I usually just go with the lowest cost there, right? So another few things, um, you know, it's kind of some advanced strategies. Um, you know, like I said, I do lifetime budget and day parting. If I have something that's going to, um, be like a B2B product or something like that, right? I want to hit people at work on their work computers. Um, another thing that I would say is, is that the conversion windows, I always switch to seven day click and one day view. Um, unless you're working with really huge budgets, um, I, I, I would suggest that. And what that is, is the conversion window for Facebook overall that counts conversions is 28 day click and one day view through, right? Um, so if they see an ad and purchase, but didn't click, but purchase within one day, that's the one day view. If they click and then anytime in the next 28 days, they end up purchasing, that's going to be your uh, click. Uh. Apologies. Um, that's going to be your click conversion. Now, what this conversion window is, is not whether or not it'll count it. It'll count it on the 28 day or the one day. This is what it's optimizing for, right? So do you want people that one day click and do and buy the same day? Do you want it one day click or view and buy the same day? Do you just want seven day click or do you want seven day click and one day view? I usually do seven day click or one day view um, with the budgets I typically work with. Now I've worked with clients that spend $3,000 a day plus. And so, you know, for them, one day click makes a lot of sense. I, I suspect for most of the people watching this video, it probably doesn't do the seven day click or one day view. So that said, um, you know, use the viewer's time zone when it comes to ad scheduling. Um, it makes a lot of sense. You know, you could use your own time zone if you're trying to do like, you know, a messenger campaign or something like that, where you want to actually have a human talking to people. Um, you know, if you're a super customer support heavy thing or, you know, sales, you know, if you're trying to do leads for a sales team or something like that. Right. And so, um, you know, kind of advanced strategies. I've heard of some different bid strategies that make a lot of sense. Some people say, you know, you should really overbid, um, you know, kind of what your your product uh, would be or what your target would be. Um, and that can get you kind of premium inventory. I've heard other people too. I heard a strategy recently that was um, a guy would take and he would bid um, a, a number like 50 plus ad sets on one penny bids and just kind of see what happens and said that, you know, some of them would strike gold and they would get these massive returns um, on, uh, their ad spend because of that. Um, and so there, there's, you know, some different, um, potential ways to go. Like I said, I usually do automate a bit in just that lowest cost. Right. And so, um, as far as, del as delivery standard is what I usually use, um, accelerated, I, I have used before. That's basically your light money on fire button though. Um, and I, I mean, that as a joke sort of, um, and you know, so the, that button, really is used for if you have like a time sensitive event or something like that, right? So if like you have a concert that's five days out and you need to sell tickets now, I would hit that accelerated button, right? With like a lifetime budget and it's just going to burn through it as quickly as possible. Um, and so that that's something to potentially think about doing. Like I said, I really only do it for like time sensitive sort of campaigns. Otherwise standard is usually going to get you um, better results. So, that, that's kind of really what it comes down to with that. Um, lifetime budget also, you should know, has some rules like you can't make, um, you can't, there, there's like minimums that you have to spend. So if I do, you know, let's say to what, today's the 19th. Um, let's say I do to the 26th and I want to do, let's just do like, you know, $20, right? When you use a lifetime budget, um, oh, that's interesting actually. Let's do like $5. Yeah, so when you do that, 
So they're going to say that you have to spend at least X dollars. And that in this case works out to $1 per day. Um, but yeah, you should know that there are minimums when it comes to the lifetime budget. So um, that's really all for right now. You know, like I said, just be conscious of budget and scheduling. There's more options than you think. Check out the CPC, check out the right. Um, you know, the big thing I would say is the optimization for ad delivery and then the conversion windows, um, as well as your bid strategy and things like that can be really useful. So take a look at those, be mindful of them as you're setting up your campaign. I know a lot of people just kind of breeze through this section, but there's a lot of value to be uncovered and, you know, a lot of things that you can test as well. Right. And so, um, thank you all for watching. Happy marketing. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks everyone.